Hello and welcome to video one. I want to share with you a bit about my own story and how I know what it's like to be buckling under the weight of your own life. I know what it's like to feel like there's just too much, too much to do, too much on your plate. In my case, things like, you know, caring for a dying mother, having to care for and, and deal with a sister that's highly suicidal, going through my own process of losing my health and developing an autoimmune disease that allows me to really operate at about 25% of what I used to be able to do. And I had toxic workplaces and losing a business and financial woes. And I found myself in this place, a spiral of overwhelm that just seemed like I could never break free of, I would end up crashing and burning. I, I realized in hindsight two things. One, I was trying to solve this problem of too much doing with more doing. I would be able to temporarily lower my anxiety, a bit of my anxiety, by taking action. Of course, taking action and all of this doing would add up and I would end up crushed again, by the weight of my own life, and in this spiral. When I'd crash, I'd say, that's it, I've had it. I'm changing my ways. I'm forging a new path. Never again. I'm never letting things get out of hand again. I'm making myself a priority. The other part I realized was even when nothing was going on, when things were okay, or when I had a break, when I actually had time for me, I couldn't rest or relax or unwind. Either I felt guilty. I felt that I should be making use of that time. I'm like, this is time I could be getting a handle on my life. Or I would be just so tightly wound, right? It's just, I felt like a tightly coiled spring. I couldn't relax. I realized that really what I was looking for was inner calm and peace. But how on earth do you get there? How on earth do you get there when, when you even have a moment of peace, you can't feel it inside? How do I actually create a state of inner calm and operate from that place instead of reacting to my life and my world? That's what I'm going to talk about in video number two. And I look forward to seeing you there where I'll share the steps that I realized I needed to take and that I would take over and over again when I would slip into overwhelm and finally became a way of life that I now can share with you. All right, see you in the next video.